If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. and welcome finally to another day of Road to TG Worlds 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be playing with the Oceania International Tournament decks that just happened this weekend. I unfortunately, unfortunately, um, hopefully a native Ryan, thank you. Um, Rail, Trigger King, thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for following Native Brian. Um, this was first place in Did, Charizard Best. Um, so yeah, Oceana International just took place this weekend. It was a nerve wracking weekend for me because my travel award for the European International, which is the next one, was on the line and I needed a combination of results from other people since I was not there to just get championship points and secure it myself. Um, but yeah, it all worked out in the end. Um, I don't think I'll be grinding as hard in quarter three and quarter four as I did in quarter two. Um, and someone asked me like, if this quarter was my most successful one, and actually it wasn't because a lot of my championship points this quarter came from League Cups because you have a best finish of eight. Whereas last season, my quarter three, I had um, over 600 championship points with only two League Cups. So the rest was SPEs and regionals. So actually, um, that was my most successful quarter. And then Sweet Boy, thanks so much for follow. And then quarter four, I won a regional. So I'd say last season, quarter three and quarter four were on par or a little less successful than this quarter two which was also pretty good right two regionals to pace is not bad at all especially in the two formats that we have uh, but anyways this was the winner of the oceana tournament mewtwo welder which is a deck i hadn't covered yet and i um i hadn't um honestly considered to do much i figured not being able to turn on welder was a big deal and mod w 1992 thank you so much for choosing to subscribe with twitch prime thank you so so much very very kind of you um frank baby bay, todo bien muchas gracias por estar aquí chris rico all good how are you um saludos hasta chile Pazlo. um so yeah Mewtwo Welder, a deck I hand covered yet, and up winning the tournament. Um, huge congratulations to Nico Alabas from Limitless TCG, pretty cool guy. Um, the Alaskan Hero, wow, thank you so much as well for resubscribing. 23 months, almost two years of support. Thank you so, so much. I am also surprised, um, but it's good old Mewtwo, right? Like, dealing 300 damage with Charizard GX on turn two or turn three is still pretty good, right? And you don't need to welder on turn one <coughs> to accomplish the turn two flare blitz. You just need to attach an energy to a Mewtwo. So there's definitely merit to that. So we have Mewtwo with the perfection ability, which allows us to use any of the attacks of all the other GX Pokemon we have in here, meaning we can Jumping Balloon or Puffy Smashers to punish other um, GX decks. We can Venom Shot to snipe on the bench. We can um, we can be straight, but we probably won't. We can Jet Needle, but we probably won't. But we can definitely Jet, I mean Stinger GX, where we both shuffle our prizes and we each put three. So it's very nice against the Mill decks, the Sinchino Mill decks. 
We also have Reshi's Heart for Outrage, Flare Strike and Double Blaze Jacks, which can be important against Obstacoon. <coughs> we have Macargo. <coughs> Makaro GX's Lava Flow, along with Burning Magma GX, which is also great against the Mill decks. We have Charizard GX's Flare Blitz, which is insane. And we have Soul Galio's Turbo Strike and um, Tag Purge and Clear Vision as well. So a lot of different options. We have the Baby Blount to spread um, 12 damage counters after we put ourselves at 3 prize cards with Stinger. Um, we have Victinity as well for Energy Recovery and Spring Flames, and also Energy Burst for 30 damage to punish um, high energy Pokemon. And it's a two prizer that can one KO station that has three energy for only two energy. So that's also pretty good. And of course we have our Jirachi engine with switches, Jirachi and escape ports. We have a welder, the single professor's research. Um, I believe this and the Victini are the only two new cards along with a quick ball. So I guess six total new cards from Surin Shield. If you wanted to invest as little as possible into upgrading a deck that already existed, this is probably one of the best decks to do so. So yeah, let's jump into the ladder and see how many games we can win with this deck. Big Tiny V is not necessarily a better Volcano yet, but it's different. And it's great in that it can one to KO <coughs> Sage and V, which is pretty awesome, right? Um, <laughs> Brave Birds battle indeed. Brave Birds is my current team. Anti Joe Place, thanks so much for the follow. Thanks so much for the kind support this morning. Great start to the stream. Great, great start to the stream. Basic Mewtwo Welder with Victini V for the Keldeo Jax. Yeah, for Keldeo Jax. I mean, um, Charizard, I don't think Keldeo Jax. Okay, so do we want to go first with this deck? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know, was Nico like was the winner of the international going first or was he going second in his games? I honestly don't I, I haven't been able to watch the games. I was on vacation, so I don't know. Thanks so much, Prelumin Onion. <clears throat> it was more than a stipend, it was a travel award, so that was really nice. Yeah, like I was guaranteed a stipend no matter what, but there's a, a huge, huge um There's a huge um, there's a huge, um, okay, let me think about this first a little, um, I do want to use Heat Factory, um, alright, I definitely think I want Soul Galio here, to be able to have a chance to knock out this Lugma, and I'll do this, and then I'll do this, I'll attach this, because you never know. And then do I want Big Teeny here against my cargo? I don't think I'm gonna need it. I mean I could for energy recovery at some point, but probably not. Um uh, no welder. No welder, but that's okay, I guess. No nothing though. <laughs> that's like the bigger problem. No nothing. Um But yeah, kill the GX is no longer a thing. I forgot what I was talking about. Going first is still good in theme. Ah, uh, I that I don't know. <laughs> I think going first is bad. It's good against ADP to be able to flirt blitz before they can alter creation. That is true. That is true. But I mean like that's a specific situation, right? If you against an unknown opponent, which one is it? Right? Which one is it? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, I'll bench the Jirachi, sure. I mean, am I forced to switch into the Jirachi? It's just like then I, I sure I turbo strike, but it's such a big waste. Um, so now do I have to detain it? I guess I'll let it change. I have switches, I have skateboards. I do lose a bunch of energies, but that's probably okay. I also lose my other reset stamp. So now I won't be able to stamp my opponent at all. 
Ah, uh, but at least I get... At least I get a target for... <clears throat> for the Turbo Strike. Alright. Now, I would really like it if my opponent doesn't discard my energies, right? That would be fantastic. That would be fantastic if my opponent doesn't just Torkoal be away my energies with Steam Crush, but we'll see. <coughs> Hello, Alex. Thank you so much for being here. Um, you decided to play Sinchino Melee Berserk, you started it Giraffe, and you were playing against this deck, you brought him in turn 1, you got both the Naga GX with Stinger and the Psychic. So you lost on both of those and he instantly scooped. Yep, that's pretty good. <laughs> I think Red Ninja GX is worth taking in for Octagon because you're 2 hit KO in the Octagon, which is not great. Um, I think you need a more solid answer to it. But I feel like you just rush up to I don't think Obstagon is going to be like a super serious threat. Um, Alright, Combustion Pillar for only 90, that's fine by me. I find a Custom Gadget. What I really would like here is a Welder. If I get a Welder, one of my four Welders out of this Stellarish, which I feel like I have a decent chance at hitting here, I can just KO... Well, no, I can't. I can't get the Turtonator because I don't have the right Pokemon to do so. Not the Turtonator, the Turtcoal. Oh, uh, wow. Can't take a knockout because I don't have the right Pokemon to do so. That sucks. No Macargo, no Reshizard, no Charizard. Um... I mean, sure. I'll still go for the Turbo Strike. No KO, but that's okay. My opponent's start is also pretty slow. And then, sure, we might get two energy stripped off, and sure, we might have to retreat, but then I Turbo Strike them back on, and it's not the end of the world. Um, Mislash into Cross Divide could be devastating for guns. Possibly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think, like... Obstagon doesn't seem that great overall. Interesting to go first or second comes down to preference. Uh, I don't think this is a decision based on preference though, because there's a clear disadvantage to going first if you have a mediocre hand, right? Like choosing to go first, if you if you just go draw pass, is just as if you were choosing to go second, except because like next turn, sure, you'll play your supporter, right? But then your opponent, your opponent gets a turn one of supporter. So you're essentially gifting them a turn one of supporter by you choosing not to play a support. So I don't know. I don't think it's a matter of preference per se. Um, okay, so how much do I value these two energies? <coughs> Given my opponent's current side of the field, not too, too much. Not too, too much. Um, I feel like I would want to keep one energy. So I'm gonna lose... I'm gonna lose now my two great catches, but I think that's okay. I do find the switch. I don't even think I need to sell which, but this is the right way to do this. Um, sure, I'll grab this just for discarding purposes. And then we'll go retreat. And we will... Huh. Okay. Uh... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11. I have one energy left over. So is it worth it to power up a fresh Mew 3? With two fires? I think it is. I think it is, because I get surprised I have a chance to get the Reshizard. Don't think I need Psychics at all. And like my opponent's just overall game plan hasn't been super threatening at all. He committed so much to Turkle that now these guys are not real threats, honestly. <clears throat> About Station ADP decks, do you think it's more viable and safe playing Custom or Pokemon Catcher for a guard? I think the more successful lists were playing Custom Catcher, but I don't know. I mean, overall, 
If you flip double tails on two Pokemon catchers, that's gonna feel very frustrating, right? But on average, you should be flipping one, right? Above two Pokemon catcher, you should be flipping one, hence. So that's one cost effect for two cards. And custom catcher is one cost effect for two cards. So on average, they're about the same. Custom catcher has the increased consistency of being able to play one to draw the extra cards, which can, which can sometimes be um, useful. Pokemon catcher has the advantage that you don't need both in your hand, right? And when Professor's Research is now the... Oh my gosh, the GX attack. Oh, I forgot about the GX attack. <laughs> I forgot about the GX attack, oops. Okay, I have two turns to win though. I have two turns to win. That's okay. Oh, but my energy is all spread out. Oh wait, he didn't GX. Oh my gosh. He didn't GX, but I can't KO. I forgot, I completely forgot about the GX attack. And I can't take the <laughs> Oh, you know what? I'm gonna clear vision. I need to, right? I need to clear vision. <laughs> I completely forgot about the GX attack. I have six cards left. And it's right here, six cards left. Um, you decide to play Dust Mini Crossfire in your Turbo Station, and you find a really useful late game GX move. I like that, Iberserk. I think that's a solid plan. I think that's a solid plan. Because um, you can hit for a three, 300 for the 3 energy if you have 2 Berserk and a Vitality Band. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so I am going to lose the Mew 3, but that's okay. <laughs> I think. <laughs> oh no, I didn't even lose the Mew 3. Also, now I should be able to win, right? Yeah, now I should be able to win. Uh, good thing I had a GX though. Good thing I had a GX. That could have been really bad. <laughs> good thing he didn't GX. I think that was greedy actually for my opponent not GXing there. I mean, now I can't one hit KO because my Rush's Art is still prized, but that's okay. I think. That's okay. He shouldn't be able to one kill this Mew 3. <laughs> Sick, my face, yeah, so there it is, yeah, here. Five five cards now. Do I have the Macargo? No, I think my last two prizes are Macargo and Charizard, I think. Maybe I do have Macargo. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Yeah, no, I already GX'd. <clears throat> How would you build your own Dark Box with Sword and Shield? I don't think I would mess around with Dark Box. <coughs> I don't think I would mess around with Dark Box, honestly. <laughs> like, if you want to play a Dark deck, play Obstagoon. Okay. Well, I guess I won't find out. Well, no, I will find out. Okay, so I do have Macargo. Good. I do have Macargo. I want to retreat. And just to real strike with this person. Maybe I can get the Charizard now. But yeah, Macargo is in there, so this is fine. If my opponent had GX that turn, I'm fairly sure he would have won, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe not. Wait, did I have the Charizard to KO that turn? I don't know. This is very confusing. But we've won, so it's fine. <coughs> Poorly played though. You can clearly tell that I've been away on vacation for a week <laughs> and didn't play any Pokemon for a week. Yeah, I would need to get back on the horse. Need to get back on the Pokemon horse. Weakness to grass is the worst, yeah. Yeah, I do have Macargo in the deck. Uh, do you think playing a Lattice GX is worth considering it's in Chino Mill? No, though, I mean, it's just... No, I don't think so, because you need the fires for Macargo, and if you're GXing with Lattice, you're exposing the Lattice, you're exposing to prices, and 
Um, you're not GXing with Macargo, so no, I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want to build a dark box deck, you definitely want Weavile, you want red, red and blue tag team, sorry, not red challenge, red and blue tag team. You want those sort of cards, tackles, quick balls to search for these knee cells. I would not like to go first. I know what I'm up against. Um, yeah, like I was definitely winning last game for sure. I was definitely winning the last game for sure. Okay. When my opponent, if my opponent had decided to GX, I think they might have won. I'm not even sure anymore. <laughs> All right. So, see, it's like we're up against Sage and ADP, right? And they didn't start an ADP with a water, which is not common enough to justify choosing to go first, I, I believe. I firmly believe that. Okay, that fire energy was pretty nice. There's a small chance that I get to attack this turn. Um, okay, I have this switch, so Stellwish. There we go, perfect. Church Ball. That's what we wanted. Alright, so now I get to grab some Galio. Now I get to attach a Psychic. I get to switch. And I get to Diddy Change, hoping to find a Quick Wall or a Church Wall in order to power up a Mewtwo. That is not the case, however, Bittini is potentially just as good. Um, I don't wanna... No, I do wanna play the Jan cards, actually. I think I'm gonna have to give up on the Reset Stamp. No, let's keep the Reset Stamp for now. Let's keep the Reset Stamp for now. And let's go ahead and Turbo Strike. I mean, two hit carrying a station before it can even attack is pretty great, right? And I'm okay powering up the big TV because it's a great answer to stations. <coughs> so see, like even against ADP, look at the the difference in in turns. My opponent went bench bench attach intrepid sword, which is pretty solid, right? But if you can go bench bench. Search for ADP, research into an ADP, attach to ADP, and then pass. That is much better, you know? That is much, 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 much better. I don't know. I feel very strongly that it's basically always incorrect to go second. I mean, to go first, sorry, to go first. <laughs> I meant to go first. All right. All right, so I don't have my own Fion, so I will not be able to KO um, I will not be able to KO the Seishen, I did not get a way to get the Nakadel to snipe it, but that's okay. That's okay. Because my opponent doesn't have the KO here. And I had the Magnetal Prize, so even if I could have, I would not have been able to. Yeah. Too bad the Dragon Magnetal was priced, but good like good catch ever served, but I couldn't even even if it wasn't priced, I would not have been able to do anything about that. I am going to Colmsville indeed. I am flying in there on <coughs> Friday. But I'm flying to a like this Thursday is Pokemon Day and something. There are a couple of surprises I have for that day. One is like a cool announcement and something that I was involved in that I signed an NDA and I can't talk about until that day. And the other is also a surprise that I can't talk about yet, <laughs> but I'm hoping I'll be able to. Talk about both things on Thursday, which should be pretty fun. Why were so many people choosing to go first? Well, I mean, because different people think differently, right? I'm just saying 
what I think. I'm not saying what I think is the absolute best and only answer to the universe. Uh, what I'm just stating is I feel very strongly that going second is correct. And clearly other people disagree, and that's okay. ADP reminds you of Solgalogex in every aspect from four years ago, especially the traits. Yeah, Solgalogex with Laurentis, you mean, Charizard? There's an urge where going first is still beneficial, of course. Like, there's definitely, without workable hand, going first can still be good. But that's the thing, you have no guarantee of what you are going to have in your hand whether it's going to be useful or not, whether that beneficial scenario that you are hoping to get, it's completely random, right? But a, a, turn, a beneficial turn one when you can play a supporter is much more likely. That's my point. Yeah. Nieves Gamer, thanks so much for the follow. Like, if you're going first and you really need to get a six second with an energy down, like, are you just going to hope you get that every time? Is that what you play to? Is that why you choose to go first? Because that's not going to be common. Um, bigger, I I might get to the obstacle deck today. I'm playing them in order, yeah? First, second, third, fourth, fifth. So first and second, I should be able to. I'm not so sure about third because of the technical issues we had. But if not today, then definitely tomorrow. <coughs> Hello, no one. I've been on vacation. Um, I haven't been able to put my head into Collinsville yet, but I will be trying to do so um, in the next in the next couple of days. Um, I mean, clearly Sation has merit to to being a contender. Now, great, that's a very nice church ball. Once again, I'm gonna lose a reset stamp without much use, but I guess I can still shuffle that. Um, but no, I, I really, I haven't, like this week is my Collinsville focus week. Yeah, but I haven't gotten to that yet. Okay, so no supporter. I could still, so like I could do this and grab another Jirachi. And I could do this and grab a Mewtwo. Well, what's this going to get me? The professor's research? Well, I'm committed, so. Research, no, it does get me a welder, however. For next turn, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. So we're gonna call it a day here. Um, I do need to top the natural fire because there's a chaotic swell right there So it's less likely to be utilized But I I mean I still needed to grab it I feel Because it opens up a decent number of top decks. That absolute is super super annoying though I think going first or second is less impactful than expanded for sure but I think in, in standard, I chose to go second every time this weekend at a challenge I went to, and I felt like it was the right choice every time. Um, do you think Pigram just didn't perform well because the players weren't because the best players weren't playing it? Um, I don't know. I felt Pigram is a little underwhelming overall, so that probably oof. That probably factored in, right? That, well, not probably, obviously factored in. Um, I mean, like I just pass here. No, I'll get closer to, to the Charizard play here. <clears throat> oh, I probably should have switched though. Oh, wow. Oh wow, do I? Oh, my Charizard is prized on My Charizard and my, my Soul Gallo are prized. Chris Bone 2, thanks so much for the follow. Oh, come on, you're kidding me.
You are kidding me. <laughs> now I don't have a well there. Um, I can't even attack. I can outrage for 10 damage. That is pathetic. Ugh. I'm not winning this game. <clears throat> Do I just clear vision? I think I clear vision. That feels like the right play. That felt like the right play. Um, P ground feels very underwhelming to me. Um, because having a solid matchup to one deck doesn't mean you're gonna do great against the rest. Yeah. And it, the thing is, it's just super predictable. The thing is, it's just super, super predictable what they're going to do, right? The deck is very linear overall. It's still good, right? Like, I think it's tier 1.5. And it got top 16, right? So, like, it did okay. I think it's less good than Mew 3 Malamar, it's less good than Station ADP, and less good than Mew 3 Welder. Yeah, exactly, Charizard. It's like it's a one trick pony. You know exactly what to prepare for, what to prepare for when playing against it. Um, without like the right number of electro powers, you're two hit KOing, whereas like this thing is playing to one KO you. Scarberry. Calm Strike. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so... I would love to top the game well there, at some point. Yep. My opponent smartly doesn't attach to the ADP. And there's the Intrepid Sword. Does even find an energy. Jirachi is awake. Um, Alright, I definitely want to be TV here. I'm getting hit for 230, so then I can outrage the damage back. Right? So I'm gonna attack purge just in case my opponent gets any crazy ideas with the ADP. I'm getting hit for 230 and I'm outraging back for the knockout and attaching to Jirachi so I have a potential retreat into a Welder big TV play. <coughs> eh, Manuel, no fui al torneo de Tania porque no me fue en Brasil. Y no tenía ayuda, no tenía ayuda económica para ir. Y sale muy caro <laughs> ir hasta Australia. <coughs> Is Henry Brandt's Mewtwo list posted somewhere? I have not seen it, no. I have no clue whether it's posted or not. He went 4 1 in Swiss and Body Peak and Top 8 and Top 4. I <laughs> wrote that, there you go. Um, Mio is gaming returning to play TCGO after 4 years and you're still loving your old Mega Alex and the X deck and extended. <laughs> That's fair. The Megas were definitely fun to play with. Definitely fun to play with. Alright, so I am attaching an energy here, right? And I should attach this as well. And then let's go Outrage. Goodbye, Station. So now my opponent with whatever amount of resources he needs to find there we go. <coughs> he needed to find switching cards, metal patch, at least one, plus an energy, otherwise he would have had to delay, and that would have opened up a possible snipe on the ADP. <coughs> so all good, all good. We managed to play around the bad pricing with our Latios GX Tac Perch and not Tac Perch, sorry, um, Clear Vision GX. I don't know, I feel very strongly about going second. Anyways. That will be all for the Oceana first place deck. Thank you much for watching. If you're watching YouTube, don't forget to like. If you're live with me on Twitch, don't go anywhere. I will be right back with the second place deck by Sacklesage Ability Reshisard. Be right back.